Hello, it's Simone, and it is dark outside because it's raining again. I have all of my supplies right here, and I am going to film this video because I cannot wait to ink up my pens. So before I do that, I want to tell you what I have uh, thought, my thought process. I want to walk you through this. April is going to be different in many ways, but it's still all about exploring. Uh, in April, I want to take it a step further and investigate as Sherlock Sherman, but let me explain. So I am starting with my ink log where I take notes at the end of the book here um, about the pens that I would love to use. Um, I have written down several things and I'm going to go deeper into this once I am talking more. So um, I have written down Beanib with Sukio, Sick Extra Fine Twisby Mini. Then there I had some other notes. Then I put superlatives, currently inked Karina Leanne. I will scratch that for this month. This is maybe a May theme or even later. Then I put Diamine Earl Grey and Sailor Hara Hara. Maybe because I saw them on somebody else's video or, or so. But this is where I'm starting. So in February, um, I wanted to explore the broad nib not nibs, now it's gone. I think I already put all of the pens that I want to use here. Um, I wanted to explore the broad nibs more. Uh, I have one broad nib in speci specifically, actually only one broad nib. This is the Twisby Eco Glow Green that I purchased at the San Francisco in August of 2022. I had it inked, but what I had written down for that specific ink rotation was, hmm, ink flow, is it the nib? And look at the grades that I gave it, it wasn't really great. I used a very light color and I tend to do that in my broad nibs. So my idea is to use a broad pen, broad nib with a darker color, and also one where I might be able to, um, to know already that I won't have any ink flow issues. So I also, during the month of February, purchased a replacement nib unit in broad for my Bennu. Uh, so my idea currently, and I'm going to execute that really soon, is to use the Zukio ink, which where do I have the card? Right here, which I have a, an ink bottle that I took home from the Pelican Hub in November of 2022. Somebody do gave it away and so I took that. It's still full enough so that I get a fill for both of those pens. Um, my idea is to put the exact same ink in both pens to be able to compare and see uh, whether maybe it is the nib that needs tuning, that needs work. Um, maybe it's the ink flow in this pen. I have no idea. So I want to compare this, which I haven't inked yet either, um, this broad nib with this pro broad nib with the exact same ink to to actually be able to compare the writing experience i the what i am experiencing in both of those pens with the same ink is not um will be only the pen because the ink in both is the same so that was the first decision that i made uh, I remember that the Twisby felt dry, so I really wanted to use an ink that is 
known to be lubricated. And that's um, why I am picking Pilot Iroshi Zuku, Tsukio, because I really had a lot of ink, uh, success with Pilot Iroshi Zuku inks in the past months. Um, so you will notice as I'm continuing with this video that I am going to use more of more inks that I have in some uh, bottle form than I have in sample form. Because for these kinds of comparisons, it is very helpful to actually have more than just two or four milliliters of ink. So yeah, says the person who said she's not going to buy any ink bottles. For this specific case and for this specific month, it is good to have bigger amounts of ink at hand. So I am actually making a list of inks that I might want to have in bottle form just so that I can do various different things with those inks. Okay, let's continue with the notes. I haven't used the SIG. SIG stands for Stop Italic Gradient Extra Fine Nib in a long time. I actually only used it once before and I think that was exactly during that time, maybe one after here in October. I used it with Sailor Manu Akibi. This does not have the extra fine nib on there just yet, but I will exchange this. This is the only pen that I can use that uh, nib on. It is the Franklin Christoph Model 2. Um, and I will be exchanging that nib for the um, SIG extra fine nib. Um, I also wrote down Twisby Mini. I haven't used that in a while either. So I want to see, especially compared to this huge pen, how I feel writing with this pen. Um, I This is the only diamond um, barrel that I have from the Twisbees. And I just thought when I looked at my whole collection and thought which one is one that I like haven't used in a while, why didn't I use it in a while, I decided, man, let's check this one out again. Because as I mentioned in my many videos where I talked about um, using or keeping in my stash only what I really, really love, I haven't used this pen enough to decide whether I really, really love it or not. So we have one in color so far and the four pens that I'm using. All right. Um, of course, I said before that I want to use Sela Harahara and Diamine Earl Grey. Um, I think I shared the swatching video where I swatched this and I said that it would be, it, it looked quite boring to me. <laughs> and then um, Maria, who gave that sample to me was like, well, no, it's not boring. And I really would love to use this ink and see how it looks in the writing. Um, and I know, or I have read, that this ink is quite lubricated and wet. So I think that I should pair it with this extra fine nib because um, I really want to have a good writing experience. So I might, wow, wow, I should have marked where I have room for this or not. So here, here, and then the next best thought was, okay, well, then why don't I use Sela Harahara with this? Perfect. Um, let me just go on a quick tangent one more time. Look at these two ink swatches. These are supposedly the same colors. This sample I received from my friend Maria. This is from Naomi from the Inky Hobbit. And I am in this, vid in this video and also in this ink rotation, I am not going to explore both of those inks further, but I really would love to dig deeper 
in a future month because this seems really weird. This is more brown. This is more purple gray leaning. What? Uh, yeah. I. That's why, because this ink is supposed to be wet, I'm going to put this in. So, Hara Hara in the mini. I will be carrying over the Bennu Talisman with Infinite Cube from March. I have still quite some ink left, but not a lot, and I have been writing more lately so this might not last me for the whole month you can see it it's whoa. don't kill your pens about here i am not opposed to refilling this to last me all the way through april absolutely no no issue with that so um let's look at the swatch cards i'm gonna put the pens over on this side for a moment and then just look at the swatches I have Earl Grey, Pilot Iroshizuku Tsukio, I have Sela Hara Hara and Weringul Infinite Cube. Those all, especially in the colored swatches down here, this looks more like a lighter color in writing maybe, but the swatches in application in the color down here look really dark. Um, so I... When, after I looked at this, I looked through my swatches right here. This is my swatch book. And just looked through uh, to get inspired. I was ob obviously looking to complete um, a Simone rainbow. I'm saying Simone rainbow because, of course, this is not a perfect, going to be a perfect rainbow. And I pulled out all of those cards. Uh, KWC Great grapefruit, diamond candlelight, diamond brandy snap, Robert Oster tea time, and diamond aqua lagoon. So that is eight colors, nine colors, and I really like those, and I feel like they would complement each other well. Uh, there is dark, there is light, there is bright. There is something of each in a color that looks really appealing to me at the moment. And so now that I have this all set, I am going to look for pens for those inks. Let's start with KWZ Grapefruit. Uh, I had uh, Pilot Iroshizuku Momiji in a fine Pilot Kakuno pen. Um, and the KWC grapefruit is a bit more orangey. This leans more pink, this leans more orange, but it definitely is a similar brightness. And I really, really enjoyed the bright red color in that fine nib. So my thought process was why not, especially after the little Robinia disappointment from February, try this ink in the Lamy Extra Fine. So, put this here. Then let's look at Diamond Aqua Lagoon. This one is also, I also received a bottle of this at the Pelican Hub. Um, I took this home with me because I wanted to look or see if this would be a similar color to Diamond um, Sub Zero without the shimmer. I unfortunately don't have the Zup Zero right here. Let me check if I have a writing sample. I should have because I put it in a pen sometime. Sometime earlier this year. Here. It looks like it's more green leaning, but I will see when I have it in a pen. So that's the thought for here. Then I pulled out, I didn't, I don't really have a pen set for this yet. Then I pulled out a green. So I have Altgoldgrün. I have used that multiple times before. I have had Robert Oster in one or two pens, I think. But I also feel like 
all of my Simone rainbows need one of those greens because those are just some of my favorite colors. So then I stumbled across these two diamine inkvent colors. They are more earthy, especially the brandy snap. Uh, I really want to see how the candlelight will look in a pen. And so, yeah. So, so these four inks are left. I don't, I'm going to move this even further away. So I have some more room. Um, so now I have those pen, the following pens left. So that leads me to another story time. After the video that, uh, the video conversation that Leanne and I had in the beginning of March, my friend Sarah from Ginger Peachy Stationery reached out and asked or suggested a pen swap. Um, I sent her two of my pens and she sent me two of her pens. So let me show you what she sent me. This one is an Esterbrook SD in the honeycomb um, color way with a broad nib. So I actually have three pens with broad nibs, but I'm not planning on inking the, this one with Zukio. I will just see how this compares. This is another Yo this is a Yovo nib. This is a no Yovo nib. This one is a bigger Yovo nib though than this one. Um but it is the sim a similar size to this Yovo nib. Uh this is a Schmidt nib, sorry. But they're very similar in sizing. Let me hold that up for you so you can see better. With three a caps in my hand. But that's this. Um, I was super curious about the Esterbrooks Estes. I they're fairly expensive pens for steel nipped pens, uh, so I was not going to spend that money without seeing one first. And I have to say that I'm really impressed. I will film new pen day videos for this pen and that pen that's in here. But yeah. I, I'm really impressed. I can't wait to see what that looks like with an ink. And you, you see where this is leaning towards. And then she also sent me this pen. If you can see this through that, she also was so kind to lend me her custom A23. Yes. This is the amber model or colorway. And this is a medium nib. This is the pen that I would purchase if I was just going out on a whim to buy that. Um, I've, I said that in my video that this is a nib that I would really, really want to try. try. And so now I get the opportunity to do that. Um, so now I have more pens here. So why do I have those here? I really want to ink up. I really feel like or want to. So what 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 do I have? I'm thinking of well, here's the thought. I'm not sure if I will be happy with this light candlelight ink in this pen. I'm thinking either this pen or this pen would be with this one. Um, I have no experience, um, with the uh, Aqua Lagoon. <sighs> so I could risk putting Robert Oster Tea Time into the custom A23. I also want to ink that same ink into or put that same ink into the custom 74. The reason why I want to do this is because this currently is my very favorite pen. I, every ink I put into this pen, I love. Um, I, I love the writing experience on any paper that I use. 
And so by putting the same ink into this pen and this pen at the same time will give me a really good concept of whether this pen is worth that much more money than this pen. Because let's face it, besides the fact that this pen has a number 15 nib, which is bigger, of course, and I've said that multiple times on other videos, I really like the bigger nibs or writing with the bigger nibs. Um, I really love this and enjoy using this. So yes, it is worth it for me to get this pen and spend that much money if I get so much better, such a better writing experience. You can see that the barrel or the section of this pen is also bigger. The pen itself is bigger. Wow, not this. So this is definitely more comfortable for me. Um, and so I, I'm really curious to see which one I would enjoy more. So I have one more thing that I will talk say to this. Somebody else offered me their custom 823 to try. Um, they told me that they don't really enjoy the writing experience with that pen. They told me it feels dry. Um, and at first I said, I was going to say that, no thanks, my friend Sarah already lent me their pen. But then when they told me about the fact that it wasn't writing as well, I, Sherlock Sherman was very curious because now I have this pen, I could compare their pen to this pen with the same ink and see if maybe they have just not put the right ink into the pen. Is it really, is it the same writing experience? Um, they will mark their pen with washi tape so that I will not mix up any of the <laughs> of the pieces and I will really be really um, uh, very careful to not mix up both of those pens. But I'm so excited for this. This is exactly what I was talking about when I said I wanted to explore more. That is exploring at its best. So, uh, I... I then, because I'm using the me the extra fine signib, I thought, and and this is always next to the this. Both of those are my only Franklin Christoph pens. Um, I was thinking that maybe you know I haven't really explored this nib either. This I had writer's blood in, which is also a very wet ink. Let me check if I enjoy writing with this with another ink. So. Let's do this here. And then I had quite the not so good experience with this ink and pen combination this past two months. Um, and you can see where I'm going. I'm really balancing out the gold and the steel nibs. I'm, I'm really drawn more to the gold nibs currently. So I'm thinking because I have pulled these two maybe I can put the candlelight into the broad Esterbrook with being cautious about the fact that this is a light ink and that that might th be the reason why I don't enjoy it. Now that I'm talking about this, I might do this and this. So I'm not 100% decided on which way I'm going. I really want to not put a green ink into this pen and see how it goes. So then... <laughs> that leaves me with so many pens and so many inks. And I think the reason why I'm going to have so many pens and so many inks is because currently in March, I am having six pens inked. And I clearly noticed that that's not enough. I really would... So, as we all know, one week has seven days. And in order to not repeat the same rotation every week, I think eight is the minimum number that I would love to ink up on pens each rotation. I am, if I am journaling every day, I am using a different pen every day. And so by just having that one more 
leaves me a little bit more uh, combination room. And it also like triggered this uh, disaster. And I might be overwhelmed with all of those pens for the month of April. I might drag this out a little bit more. Um, I think what we said when I talked to Sarah briefly is that at the end of April, I will be sending those two pens back. But even if I'm sending those two pens back, I will still have a lot of pens inked. So if I'm not able to explore them fully for the month of April, I can drag this rotation into the month of May, um, which, <coughs> sorry, now that, that I'm thinking about it and given the fact that I know that I'm moving in the middle of June, would probably not be that bad of an idea because then I can swap it out one more time towards the middle of May and then keep that rotation for the until the beginning of July, middle of July, so that I am just skipping ro inking up pens in June because I will be probably so busy with moving that I will either have not enough time to write or I will be writing, but I will not have access to all of the inks and stuff. I mean, who knows? So, yeah, I cannot wait to start inking up all of those pens because I'm so over March right now. Nine colors, 12 pens. You clearly see that I missed variety and pens and I'm so excited to investigate the broads and the, the pilot nibs. Um, and I hope to share more about all of those things soon. Thank you so much for watching. Leave any comments down below. I see you soon. Bye. You know what I forgot? Look at this color. It's almost red. You know what else is red? The subscribe button. So if you haven't subscribed yet, do that right now. Uh, just wanted to come on here one more time to show you how I'm going to put this into my pen case. I think there is room for one more pen, so that will be one of these two. And then uh, Casey's pen will be here. Um, it fits. I will have the two pens from Sarah separated so they are safe. And then it closes very light easily. And that's what I'm going to carry around with me. This rickshaw pen case. I purchased that at the San Francisco Pen Show. And I'm, I'm really in love with this pen case. It's probably my favorite one of them all. Bye.